Bye everybody. Today I will try to talking about the biography of John Osprey. John Osprey grew up in Flom, von Turner and Surrey, leading the uh, leading a uh, suburban childhood in somewhat less dire circumstances than one's preconception of Jeremy Porter's alter ego would lead one to expect. In fact, every class subtitled between upper lower and lower middle was represented in his own extended family. Osprey's autobiography tra- traces with gusto pondering on the Van Gogh, the Walsh and Cockney side of his family, and the characterizes in the spirit of English love comedy. Their attempts to sustain out one Edwardian amenities after having come down in the world, his father was an advertising copywriter who suffered long spells of illness and his mom mother was bad made but the family tree and included many connections to the music hall and the theater grandfather grove for example would be revived in the form of Bill Rice in The Entertainer. With Osprey was an only child, rather sickly and bookish. His most vivid memories of adolescence include listening in the air raid, shelter to German bomber, and severing the applause of police at school. Eventually, he went to boarding school. And after being expelled for striking back at the headmaster, turned toward journalism. As a reporter for trade journal, Gas World, after a failed engagement, he joined a struggle turning company with which he gained his first experience in acting and playwriting, including an artist, a sexual collaboration with an older actors. The most important results of his Bikarsko period for the young Osborne was that he realized his uh, for speech and developed his uh, ambition to write for the stage. The early 1950s led him into the battle world of Provo- uh, uh, sorry world of provincial repertory. The background for Abby Ta for George Dillian and ultimately to the acceptance of Look Back in Angry by George Devon and the English Stage Company. Thus began prolific career that established Osprey as an influence on the style and subject of contemporary English theatre. Revolved only by Harlot Print, he was married four times to Pamela Luna, actors, Marior, writer Penelope Galt, and actors Joel Bennett whom he married in 1968. He had one child. Osborne was a member of the Royal Society of Arts, and in the 1970 he received an honorary doctorate 
from the Royal College of Art London. In the middle 1970s, after two decades of a steed of a steady steady production for the stage, Osborne substantially reduced his playwriting though he continued to turn out television drama. Other than occasional advertisements such as 1991 television of, of Oscar Wilde's The Picture of Dorian Gray and an hour-long profile on British television South Bank show. Osborne was not highly visible on the theater. Since in the these or in these latter decades of his life, his nineteen ninety one play The Jiva, which opened at the Comedy Theatre in London to mixed reviews, was his first major new work to appear on the London stage in more than fifteen years. The nineteen ninety one publications of the second volume of Osborne's autobiography. Almost gentlemen proud his memories up to mid-1960 and kept his name in the news for the short time. He died in 1994 at the age of 65. And thank you for watching and uh, please if you can do that try to make subscribe and make throne thanks a lot